What is going on, my fitness junkies? We got a decent amount of people in here tonight. So this is sweet. So tonight's topic is the 80-20 rule as it applies to fitness. Okay, so what the 80-20 rule is, is 80% of your results come from 20% of your efforts. All right, like I said yesterday in the mass message, this applies to a lot of different aspects of life. You know, if you think about it in your work environment or for your job, most of the big needle moving tasks, like those main things that are going to push things forward and help you be productive and get the job done. It's like 20% of the things you're doing are really pushing the needle. And a lot of times it's like, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff that you have to do for the job that just kind of is busy work. So that, that's just kind of my real life example, but I'm going to transition it towards fitness tonight, obviously. And um, so 20% of what we're talking about, like on these coaching calls, you know, we're, what you'll see on the internet, like there's so much information out there. So I wanted to dial it down to like, what is the 20% um, of like what actually moves the needle and gets you your results that gets you like those 80% of your results. So this doesn't mean that you're putting in 20% effort to get 80% of the results. I wanted to be clear on that. This doesn't mean that you're like all in, like 20% in to get 80% results. Okay, this means like there, there's 20% of the things that you need to do that really push the needle and, and give you those really good results. So, um, yeah, this means that like you never want to lose sight of the 20%, you know, and get caught up and, and like put too much emphasis on all that other information. And never let the 80% like take precedence over the, the really important 20% that's moving the needle. Okay. So what is the 20% for fitness? All right. So for nutrition, it's going to be hitting your calories and your macro goals. I'm going to leave it super simple. And I'm going to say that is the 20% that's going to move the needle for you guys. So hitting your calories and hitting your macro goals is that 20% that's going to yield you 80% of the results that you're going to get. So things like supplements, you know, and then asking questions or wondering when, sh when should I eat? Should I eat this superfood? Um, you know, are artificial sweeteners good or artificial sweeteners bad? These are all kind of examples of the 80% that we can get caught up in or put too much emphasis on where really, if we don't have the 20%, 100% dialed in, that's actually moving the needle. We don't need to be worrying about this type of stuff. Okay. So on the nutrition side, that 20% that's going to give you 80% of your results is hitting your calories and hitting your macros. So we absolutely just want to nail that down 100%. Now for exercise, that 20% is going to be progressive overload, adequate volume, and getting your heart rate up. Okay, so progressive overload, meaning we're, we're either adding weight, we're adding reps, we're adding something, we're adding time under tension. There's a lot of different forms of progressive overload but we want to make sure that from workout to workout, we're progressively overloading these movements. Okay, that's part of the 20%. Another part is just making sure you get adequate volume. And I've talked about it before, but it's anywhere from like 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week is adequate volume to really make good progress. So progressive overload, adequate volume, and really on the, on the cardio side, it's as simple as just making sure we get your heart rate to a certain point, okay? you can get super caught up in like, should I do, should I do hit? Should I do this type of cardio? Should I, should I use the treadmill or the elliptical when really it's like, just leave it as simple as, are we getting our heart rate up to a certain heart rate zone to, to burn calories? So really that, that 20% that's going to get you 80% of your results on the exercise side is going to be progressive overload, adequate volume, getting your heart rate up. All right. So like I said, like things like wondering if you should use the treadmill or the elliptical, you know, is this machine better than that one? Or, or what's the best rear delt exercise? Um, our ways to just basically get distracted from the real 20% that's moving the needle forward and helping you reach your goals. So never let 
you know, on the nutrition side or the exercise side, never let that, that 80% or let the filler information that you'll see all over the internet, let you lose track of that 20%. That's really getting you that 80% of the, of your results. So um, another way I wanted to kind of look at this, and I know this is kind of philosophical, but you know, that part of it is, is pretty practical. So I just wanted to really hit home with what's important. And I know I've said a version of this at times, but I feel like it helps to have it that kind of the 80, 20 way of saying it. And another way I want to talk about the 80, 20 rule, this is kind of just something I thought of, but if you're able to stay on track and, and be really consistent, at least 80% of the time, then 20%, you can enjoy your, your lifestyle and be off track a little bit. And you're still going to be moving forward and making a lot of progress. Okay, so I've talked about it before, but like, and I've used the quote from Jocko Willink that discipline equals freedom. But really, if you can be super disciplined, stay consistent, be on track with your program, both on the, the diet and the workout side, like at least 80%, then the other 20%, if you're falling off and you're, you're not 100% consistent or on track, then you're still going to be making really good progress. So that's kind of just another way I wanted you guys to think of the 80-20 rule in the reverse of like, if we can just stay on track and be consistent at least 80% of the time, which I think, you know, that's a, that's a B minus. I don't think that should be too hard. I think we can all, you know, be pretty consistent and be on track with the diet and the workouts at least 80%. And I truly believe if you're at least like following it, like if you're an eight out of 10 on both of those things, then if, you know, that other 20% that you're falling off a little bit, then you're still going to be making progress moving forward. I guarantee that. So um, I hope this kind of just helped you put things into perspective and wrap your head around what's really going to help you reach your goals. Again, this doesn't mean that you can only put in 20% effort um, to get 80% of your results. It just means that 20% um, of the things we're doing are like the really important things that are going to help you reach your goals. And so don't lose track of that 20% that's super important with like the 80% that's like everything else that you'll hear on the internet or like, you know, what supplements, the best supplement, everything like that. Um, so yeah, just never lose track of that 20%. And if you're at least 80% consistent with your program on both the nutrition and the diet side, then, then you're going to reach your goals. Like that, that's, that's as simple as I could put it. Um, yeah, that's, that's all I really had to say on this one. Pretty short and sweet. I'm going to go ahead and open it up again for questions for who's on the call tonight but if you're watching the replay please comment replay comment your biggest takeaway um, and let me know if you guys have any any questions or any topic ideas for upcoming coaching calls um, but cool I'm going to end it guys and talk to my clients that are on here um, but let's have a great rest of the week let me know if you guys have any questions and talk soon peace